Boom! Welcome back everybody to the perfect bag. You know what time it is? It is time for another one take bag review. Hold on a second, I'm not going to pull it up yet because I want to talk about an unusual way that I found this bag. So those of you who uh, actually read the video descriptions, and not everybody does, it's totally fine, um, but you'll know that uh, cords, some of the cords, I, I list some of my favorite stuff down in the video description. Some of my favorite cords are from a company called Native Union. They're, it's a, I believe they're from Paris, I think. Uh, but basically, really high quality braided cords with very nice um, kind of management systems. I've got one that's already kind of pre-balled into a ball, and then I've got a couple of just uh, really nice braided cords. They've never broken on me. That's why I really like them. They're a little bit expensive, but they've lasted a long time. So really nice. I really like them. Check them out, by the way. But I follow Native Union on social media, on Instagram, etc., because, you know, I just like their stuff. And you can imagine my surprise uh, a few months ago when a Native Union post came up with a bag. And I was like, dang! Native Union's getting into the bag game. And not only was it a bag, it was an interesting bag. And it was a bespoke bag for them that they had created to match their user base. And, you know, I think of their user base as a uh, super urban, super modern, minimalist, kind of hip coffee shop, MacBook having, like that kind of crew, right? Um, I'm like on the edge of that kind of crew, on the edge of it. Um, but here we go. Check this out. It's a tote backpack convertible. And we've been doing quite a few of these lately. So I, I'm interested. It's another take on this idea of a convertible tote because, you know, ultimately a tote is a very super useful carry in cities, in elevators, up to your office, sitting at a coffee shop. We'll see if this one does what uh, some of the other ones we've been looking at lately haven't done, which is manage the uh, backpack straps and the extraneous stuff well to stay sleek and stay minimalist and stay functional as a tote bag. So. I'm excited to get into it. What is this bag? This is the WFA backpack. So they led with backpack, not with tote. WFA backpack from Native Union. Let's get into this thing. You know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. What does that mean? It means we're going to do a full walkthrough of this bag. Interior, exterior, all the pockets, all the features, all the nooks and crannies. And after that, you're gonna get two things that I love about the bag two things that I think could be better, and an overall recommendation. Who might this be the perfect bag for? This is the WFA backpack from Native Union. Let's get into the exterior. So first off, it feels like suede, but it's not suede. It is all recycled material, but it's like this suede nylon, and it is really, really nice. I don't know if you can hear it, there you go, a little ASMR for you. It's a really nice bag. All the materials feel really, really good. Quality-wise, aesthetic-wise, it reminds me more of Bellroy than any other maker. Like, quality without being beefy, uh, genderless in the, in the sense that they're not going, they're not targeting female customers, they're not targeting male customers in terms of traditional design language. Um, it is a bag that I would say is uh, professional, modern, sleek, and quality. Uh, price point on this is $150, and the size on this is 20 liters. All right, it comes in three sizes. It comes in black, comes in this. This is, what did they call this one? Sage green, slate green, slate green. This is slate green. But the one that is really, really cool to me, and it's not for everybody, but there's a canary yellow one that is totally awesome. Totally awesome. But this slate green looks really, really good. Is it more green? Is it more slate? It's almost like a gunmetal, but I think I know why they didn't call it gunmetal. A little off-putting to some folks. Uh, but really nice, a good color. It looks good in light. Looks good in a little bit darker settings as well. Uh, it has these cream-colored accents 
with black accents as well, black leather wraps on the handle, black leather on the zipper pull, the zipper is AquaGuard on the front here and is black. Um, and I think let's do a little bit of a reveal here. Let me turn this around and show you what's going on with the strap management. Well, there you go. Check that out. Pretty interesting, isn't it? So they've elected, a lot of companies that do these kinds of totes try some clips down here so that you can unclip the backpack strap and then run it through a luggage pass-through mid-back and then clip it back so that the straps are kind of pinned. This is like a full tuck, we'll call it. Um, it's really interesting. So it's very slim back here. These are nice straps, but not over padded so that they can still sit flat, but then they basically pop into this pocket. And then when you pull them out, you've got two nice canvas straps um, with adjustable buckles. Yeah, minimal branding, says right here, Native Union, uh, made to last, established 2009, Paris, I was right. Up top here, you've got a very minimalist, again, classy Native Union Paris morale patch. Believe it or not, that's not just a label. It, it is a hook and loop morale patch that you can, if you wanted to, slap a different morale patch on the back. And interestingly enough, that's on, remember the back side of the bag. No morale patch on the front, a hidden morale patch section on the back, visible though, when you're in tote mode. And tote mode really is just as simple as tuck your straps. So tuck your straps and you're a tote. Huh, you know what? I think it works. I, I actually, for once, think that there is a company who has created a convertible backpack tote. Yeah, it works. It's slim, it's tucked away, it looks like it's supposed to look like this. It doesn't just look like, you know, a backpack whose straps are temporarily strapped down, yeah. And the detail, I think, of this canvas strap and the morale patch on the back, along with the really nice stitching on the back panel here and on this uh, hideaway, tuckaway panel, I think it looks really good. <laughs> like, really well executed. Okay, that's it on the exterior. No water bottle pocket out here. One pocket on the exterior that we'll get into in a second. And that's what we're gonna do right now. And we'll take one closer look at those straps too from camera number two. Meet me there, everybody. Here we are, camera number two. All right, check this out. So, morale patch that I talked about, but look at this. You've got this hidden back panel here and you just slip and you just slip and it lays flat and it looks great and goodness gracious. I think they did it, everybody. I think Native Union made a tote that's a backpack and a tote, not half a backpack and half a tote, full on tote, full on backpack. Good for them. Very, very cool. It feels... Like I said, like a suede or a wax canvas. Again, made with recycled bottles, so awesome. All right, branded zipper pull here. And this, you can see, runs most of the length of the bag for this pocket on the exterior. What do we have going on in here? A nice, nice canvas. It almost feels like a, like an old school, really nice laundry hamper bag. I, that's probably doesn't sound upscale, but like really nice canvas. What, and I've just tossed some junk in here. Look at this. Knife, flashlight, Purell, lightning cable. You do have a key leash in here. Yeah, I think if I were walking around in Paris, probably classier stuff, right? But I'm in Kentucky. So, knife and Purell it is. If I was in Paris, maybe a... Uh, what, my opera glasses would go in here? Yeah, probably so. Okay, and you can see that's the logo right here for Native Union. Couldn't be more minimalist. Love it, intentionally minimalist, and let's do this thing. You do have an AquaGuard zipper over the top of the bag with a leather zipper pull. You open that up, and what are you greeted with? 
designed with care in Paris, made from recycled materials. And you can see already mixed materials on the inside of the bag, purpose built, different materials in different pockets. And the first thing we have is a really nice laptop sleeve. This is felt on the back, padded on the front, stretchy with elastic on the side. This is a 14 inch laptop. I believe a 15 inch would fit no problem. You've got some space you can see on the side here. So I'm gonna pull this out and you can take a peek here. The whole laptop pocket is suede, suede, felted, felt. I felt the felt. All right, let's go. And then you've got a gigantic 20 liter space. Why do I say gigantic? Cause it's not gigantic, but look how slim this bag is. And then look how much you can get in here. Like it's pretty cool. And I love the cream colored contrasting interior. Some folks may worry about that getting dirty. Yeah, it might get dirty, um, but I like it. All right, what do I have in here? So first let's talk about this admin panel. I've been less and less a fan of admin panels lately, um, but this one's pretty good. The entire thing, even the pin pockets is made of stretchiness and it's not overly prescriptive in terms of, you know, this is what you need to have in this pocket. So I put an all purpose cord in here. I put a wallet in there. It says my Apple pencil or my knockoff one anyway, a big thick Sharpie, but you can see it's kind of suspended up uh, most of the way up the bag, butts up evenly against this uh, bottle holder. Wait a minute, look at that, y'all. It's a bottle holder. So you've got an interior water bottle or umbrella holder in this bag. Hmm. Okay, well, this is a 20 ounce swell bottle. Fits just fine. And you've got a little tug point here to stretch this out. It's really gonna be hard to see. But here, you, there's a little tug point to stretch the bottle holder out to get the drinks in. I think that works pretty well, but it may make things wet on the inside of your bag. So I'd say only use that with a non-refrigerated drink or an insulated bottle like the Swell bottle. And then in the main compartment, what do I have going on? Well, I've got my iPad Pro with a Magic Keyboard. I've got a book about hiking. I've got my Kindle. I've got a stress ball. So look, lots of space down there. An interesting layout, very useful and it's not more than a day bag, but it doesn't pretend to be more than a day bag. Then on the side here, one big pocket, gaming device, phone tripod, titanium spork. I bring my spork because sometimes places don't give you cutlery. I'm looking at you, DoorDash delivery services. All right, wow, take one more look. I just think this interior is really good. Felt laptop pocket, nice stretchy admin panel, interior water bottle pocket, nice pocket here. And then, and over here, I almost didn't see this, a little hidden air tag pocket. So yeah, really nice. There's one more look at the straps. Meet me back at camera number one. Let's break this thing down. Okay. What do you think? Not too shabby, right? Get a lot of stuff into the bag for a 20 liter day pack and for it to fit that much stuff and maintain this ultra slim profile, very neat. So two things I love about the bag. Well, the first one's pretty dead simple, which is this is the first two way bag tote and backpack that I've seen in a while that works. So construction wise, material wise, just in conception to design to execution, great job, like really great job to Native Union. I'm not surprised, like design is what they do, but sometimes design doesn't include the quality that this bag is. And for $150, hmm, could you get a better bag for $150? Yeah, but if you're looking for something in this niche, something professional, 
that works for men or women, something that is minimalist, that will carry you from your office to a coffee shop, to your car, um, with all your minimalist tech accessories and not much more than that. Honestly, this is a pretty great solution from the team at Native Union. So I love the execution and design. I love the strap tuck away. I'll show you at the end of the video me carrying this as a tote, which probably is not going to be a revelation. It's going to be me carrying this as a tote. And then I'll show you what it looks like me wearing this as a backpack. And, you know, what what is that? How does it feel, etc. Okay. Second thing that I really like about the bag is the interior layout. I, I honestly was anticipating that the thing that I was going to like about this bag and tell you about was the, the materials because the materials are super nice. But I've got to shout out the interior layout here. It just works. It's really good. The laptop pocket it feels nice, feels fun to access. Your laptop feels very protected despite the fact that it's not super memory foamy, pushy, cushy kind of stuff. Um, Feels good, looks good. The admin panel with all the stretchiness feels nice. I love the high contrast. I'm worried a little bit about the cream color over time. Starting to look a little dingy, but I won't know for a while, I guess. Um, yeah, I like the layout. I like the interior. I think it's good. Like, really good. All right. Let's talk about two things I think could be better. And I'm going to nitpick a little bit here, because honestly, this is a pretty nice bag. It's not the normal type of thing that I carry. Um, it is a little bit more chic and um, modernist than most of the, I mean, yeah. So it is a little bit sleeker than what I'm used to, aesthetic wise. But the couple of things that I'm gonna pick at here, so this vertical pocket here, I wanted to love this design wise. It looks like, it looks nice. The offset vertical black stripe looks really, really good. Um, but practically speaking, this bag never actually is like this. And so uh, again, which is more important design or function? What I think would have been interesting would, would have been for them to mimic their logo here. So their logo has a 45 degree angle stripe, maybe a little bit less. Maybe that's a 40 degree angle. Mathematicians break out your protractors. I think it's a 40 degree angle. But can you imagine this bag with a 45 degree angle or 40 degree angle stripe right there um, where you would zip across and you would be able to reach down in and access things and they might have even been able to put in a subdivided pocket in there. Um, as it is, it falls prey to what most vertical pockets fall prey to which is everything just clumping to the bottom and piling up and then you reaching in from the, the top here and then sorting through your stuff and trying to keep it from falling out the side. And so, you know, I know that gravity works how gravity works and even no matter which way you organize your pocket, things are gonna fall to the bottom. But if your pocket, if your zipper doesn't go like this way, then crap's not gonna fall out the side when you're trying to sort through to find your AirPods or find your uh, flashlight or whatever, your opera glasses or whatever else you've put in there. Get back in there, Keelish. So, uh, just, a, just a little foible. Don't love the vertical pocket there. L and as much as I love the interior storage, that's a little frustrating. Um, the only other thing, and I said that this is incredibly well executed as a backpack and as a tote. There's only one slight problem which is imminently fixable by the user, so don't sweat it too much. But, it's this. So as you carry this bag, you do have one tote strap that hits you in the neck. <laughs> and so that might be super annoying to you over time. It might be. Um, and that's easily fixable, which is weird that they didn't do this because they have, they have such incredible little leather keeper straps on all their cords. I use them all the time. Just a little keeper strap right up here with a snap um, would, would have fixed that problem. Oh well, oh well, I, I don't know, I don't know. Or make this tuckable into a little pocket, I, I don't know. But this does kind of fall down and hit you in the back of the neck. Which does bring me to one really interesting question about this bag, which is, would it have just been better as a super useful tote? Maybe, maybe. 
yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, I'd say aces as a tote. It's good as a backpack. Um, but I know there's a lot of people that want to be able to carry things as a backpack, especially if you're going a long way. Keep your hands free. makes a lot more sense. Um, so I would say you'll probably find yourself using this 80% tote mode and 20% backpack mode. Um, but the good news is, it, if you are using it that way, you're going to be delighted with the stowable backpack straps. All right, that's enough. Who's this the perfect bag for? Well, let me tell you this. If you are a super modernist person who has a very minimalist tech-based carry, if you are carrying your 14-inch MacBook Air, your AirPods Pro, your personal wallet, few small personal grooming or toiletry items, uh, a small 16 or 20 ounce water bottle, a couple of pens, your reading glasses, your sunglasses, your blue light blocking glasses, whatever your glasses. Um, this is it. Like this is good stuff. Toss a Kindle in there too, um, a magazine, and you're good to go. This is not a gym bag. This is not an overnight bag. This is not for folks who carry lots of stuff. This is a minimalist, sleek, professional coffee shop, office, day trip sort of bag. And for that, it's dynamite. It's a dynamite little bag. I really like it. Um, is it going to stay with me and stay on my wall and am I going to love it forever? Uh, no, it's not my personal style. But I do admire it. I do admire that it fits its niche so well. And for those of you who are in that kind of Bellroy groove of slick, minimalist, beautiful, well-designed, high-quality materials. Um, it's great. It's great. I think you'll love it. I think uh, you should take an extra look at this one. Click the link. Again, it's not an affiliate link. I'm not making any money off of um, uh, the folks at Native Union. Uh, if you buy their bag, that's on you and that's on them. I was pleased to get a look at it. Um, so everybody, Thank you so much for joining me as always. Thank you for the love and support. And we will see you next time. Bye for now, everybody.